Well, fine, let's just go. I think I'm halfway through the game now, then? Just more or less, we just... Unverified information, my ass! You can't trick us anymore! Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us! Who's going to believe you now? Well... There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. Nagi's not here. Maybe the National Defense Forces took him. I'll have Wataru check later. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used Arahabaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you, Ito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived. The rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe. And he's gonna die. Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. He needs to rest, so let's go to my platoon's hideout for now. So this is where your hideout is. It looks like the same type of unit as our hideout. The make is identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. Oh, great! <laughs> oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. <sighs> so, we still not out of the woods on the we may have spies on our team thing.
Are you trying to say something, game? Kyoka and Kagro. What were they talking about? I feel like I heard my name. That seems serious. Maybe... No. We're a much bigger group now. We'll just have to share the hideout with each other. Are you talking about me? You don't have to be so nasty. I'll clean up. I wasn't trying to be mean. I guess I have to deal with this all the time now. Okay, then. You don't like me, do you, Shiden? You still saved me, though. Thanks. You know, just because I saved you doesn't mean I think you're any good. I don't exactly hate you, though. You're so full of it. Okay, let's see what we have. Nothing. Holy shit. We're all working together again. How wonderful. Right, Sugumi? Kagura, you hid something from me. You hid something. Don't say it twice like that. I'm sorry, I am. I'm really sorry. Okay, let's start. Sharing our knowledge is what saved Yurito. Thanks, Luca. I should be thanking you. We needed everyone there to keep Yuito alive. I think you all did wonderfully. Good. Can I? Good. You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. Guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. So keep doing it. Though, I don't plan on taking care of you. Very intriguing. I'd like to analyze, uh, get to know you more. I don't know how to feel, but I'm glad you're interested. Oh, I think it's just... You look like Chief Kaito. What? No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the chief anyway. Oh, it's just gonna push to the... Fair enough. I think I have a better understanding of the way you think. What? You know what I'm thinking? Oh boy. Isn't this kid special? Yuito, you working hard today too? Huh? Well, I, I guess so. That's good. Keep it up then. How was that? You got a thing for me yet? I don't really get you, but I guess in a way you are intriguing. That's special. Okay, only on two. She's literally dead on the couch. You're strange. Huh? What is? Your existence. At first, you seem like someone trivial. Someone who would be neither useful nor harmful. But you're just a good person. A quality I've learned to not dislike. Okay? I'm a little curious about you. What? I see. Um, thanks? Oh. Um, do you think we can talk for a minute, Kasane? Sure. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> She's just as blunt as always. You know, I actually kind of miss that about her. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh, actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone. 
But the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. All right. I accept your thanks. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? He does have a point. Fate does seem like something being forced on us. But we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. I haven't told you yet, have I? That my sister Naomi is dead. What? Oh. She... What happened? She saved me when we were fighting Togetsu. She always saved me, every time right to the end. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been there to help. I didn't know and... It's nothing for you to worry about. I just thought of it while we were talking. The fact that I'm here and fighting alongside you is thanks to her. It is? My first impression of you was, he's not worth my time. If my sister didn't focus on you, I probably would have forgotten all about you the next day. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty bad impression. What do you mean by Naomi focusing on me? Well, my sister... she really liked you. Oh, I'm flattered. I wish I had gotten to know her better. I'm sure knowing that would have made her really happy. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. Kasani and I really haven't changed all that much. But now we can tell each other what we really think. Should I? Okay, should I? Hey, I take back what I said. Arashi told me that calling someone a good person isn't always a compliment. Hmm. I think it's usually used as a compliment. Well, at least that's how I interpreted it. Oh. That's good then. Words are complicated. Thank you for taking mine at face value. I think I understand you a little better now. Really? I'm happy to hear you say that. Oh, 
there is a lot of people. So, probably, during the other way around, I think the conversation would be like Yuito saying then Nagi die. Because we know she doesn't, so you get the idea. Hey Yuito, our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? A charm? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. I kind of still don't trust her. I feel like I know you a little better now. We still have a long way to go, though. We should talk more. I think we'll get along fine. So she's gonna probably be a full episode, Gamma also, so let's go with the crazy. <laughs> There's that stupid face again. That's how you start a conversation? Sorry, I call it like I see it. I suppose I'm getting used to it though. You make sure to stay alive so I can always see your stupid face. Wow! It's not what I wanted. But I'm beginning to see how to handle you. Uh, is that something I should be happy about? Here's the question. Are those Nagi? I think they are, like, those are Kasani and those are Nagi, yeah. Gamma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring, so I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. Let's go to the hospital. Right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctors. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record... Then we should get on this now. They're being used in human experiments. We need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. But maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I 
found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Ceyron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. Where? I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. Well, maybe we do find a couple of the enemies. I've got good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP. I just noticed something. The amount of new equipment that they're gonna need to craft. I'm not happy about that. Looks like there's a resource nearby. There's gonna be a lot of equipment. <laughs> I think five. <laughs> like we're gonna have the Kasone one, the Asshole yeah. Kid, the Spy. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be enough. This is pretty rare. I kind of now get what they they were talking about. Because, well, here's the thing. In theory, my power is still... Is evil incarnate. Which does mean that... They still... Kinda believe that I'm gonna die. Then if I don't die. Now die. Come on. <laughs> the we're gonna end. <laughs> Therefore, that's what the two of they are talking. Or my body is numb. No, that's not the case because he didn't shoot me. Not yet. He shoot the Kasane. Yeah. That's still something that really kinda I don't know, gets me the wrong way, quote unquote. Let's give it a look. I know. Like, I need this to get this, so yeah, it's gonna be special. We're gonna need to farm a lot of battle records. I may farm off screen. That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. Oh. I don't see any patients. 
So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. Those are bodies. It's targeting that bag. But why? Because there are brains there. That's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it. I guess we're doing this. I don't know what I'm trying to burn a fella. There wasn't. Sure, Neo. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll you drain your health, so be careful. Here we go. Okay. No problem. Catch him. Oh, okay, it's just double tap. That makes sense. Is everyone okay? I appreciate the help. At this rate, I can still fight. Okay, let's. Didn't I, like, nullify the cooldown? God damn it. I'm literally hitting the other one. Okay, should use the container. I'm sorry. Seems like I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. You didn't. But those bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. 
but he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner. It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me, awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gamma, you knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <laughs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. That was... Good. I guess I don't need to mention it, but you don't avoid me. I have no reason to. Do other people avoid you? Yeah, the youngsters probably feel awkward around an old man like me. I'm used to it, but it can still hurt, so I'm grateful. This is what it means to trust each other. Yeah, I trust you to have my back. I like Gamma. Gamma's a good guy. We still have someone, don't we? Uh, you're gonna try to stab me in the back at the end. I still believe the last boss fight is gonna be Kasana's thing. Let me check. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a like. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment, and if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe, and see you guys on the next episode.